So I've always wanted to get stuck into a bit of sci-fi fiction. I am pretty green when it comes to that genre, but with something coming up in November, I've got an opportunity to do exactly that. What's up guys, welcome back to Unlimited Reads. My name is Chris and today I would normally do my weekly update but given that I don't have much to report other than that I've been reading Lonesome Dove uh, all week and I have been doing my reading vlog so other than that there's nothing to report so I thought I'd put up a different kind of video. Now this video I am pleased to announce that I've become part of uh, the New World November project created by Scott and Becky Bryant, the bookish Bryants. If you haven't checked out their channel I'd recommend doing that. They're great people, they have a lot of good content, they have run several successful projects that I've been a part of and uh, yeah I've had a great time doing that. This will be the third time I've taken part as a co-host in the project. Now previously, back in February, way back in February, it seems like um, 10 years ago, uh, I participated in February Fantasy Stories where uh, we read a short work of fiction or some short stories and each week there was a sub-genre uh, that you could read, so different types of fantasy and that gave me good exposure to stepping out of my comfort zone and trying works of fantasy that I hadn't tried before, so that was really fun. And the other project was uh, in May called Horror Mayhem where the focus was on horror and again four separate sub-genres. Uh, which gave you a bit of scope and a bit of um, freedom to read what you liked and I really enjoyed that one as well. I had a really good time with that. So before I get into the categories of this new project, which is really exciting, I'll just list and acknowledge uh, all the other co-hosts and I've also listed them in the description below so that you can uh, follow the links to their respective channels. All of these people have great content. They're going to be really good co-hosts for the project and they specialize in many different forms of fiction, but uh, a lot of them are science fiction experts. Uh, they're the go-to people for anything sci-fi and a couple of them actually specialize in um, you know, the older works of sci-fi fiction. So uh, it's great that they're taking part in the project. I'll be able to learn a bit from them uh, as we watch their videos as they uh, get posted each week. Now, I'll just read off the list of hosts for you. So uh, we obviously have the Bookish Bryants, of course, who are running the project. We have Steve Donahue. We have Sean D. Stanfast, Michael K. Vaughan. We have The Booklectic with Brandy. We have uh, Book Time with Elvis. The Rambling Reviewer, Another Bibliophile Reads, Jim Reads Too Slow, Read by Fred, and Science Fiction Reads. So uh, there is a really good stable of co-hosts for this project. Now, this same project was run last year. And unfortunately, I missed that one. And when the opportunity came up to participate in this one, I jumped at it. So now I've spent a bit of time picking out what I want to read, but um, I'll go through the actual categories for this year. So obviously over the four weeks, it's going to be split up into several subcategories, four main subcategories, and they are, week one is terrestrial. Any stories that um, science fiction related that take place on Earth. Week two is extraterrestrial, so any work of science fiction that takes place on an alien world. Week three is classic science fiction predating 1965. And uh, week four is robots or and or AI. So really good, uh, really good categories, but they've gone one better this year and they've created 13 subcategories which are open up the scope wide open and gives you a lot of free reign and a lot of choice uh, to read. And those categories are alien archeology, span alien romance, translated work, uh, translated work of science fiction, alternate worlds and dimensions, far future, war, military, genre crossing, first contact, invasion, humorous, political, and libraries. So uh, there's a lot of free reign here and there's so much material to pick from to read. Uh, I was gobsmacked with uh, how much uh, stuff there is out there, but I'll reveal my picks now. So with week one, terrestrial, I've decided to go with Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. It's um, got time travel in it. 
uh, so it more than qualifies for that category and it's also a classic book that I've been wanting to read this year so it's a really really good excuse to get stuck into it I've heard a lot of great things about it it's such a famous book that um, I'm ashamed I haven't decided to read it until now um, looking forward to getting stuck into that one I think the, the premise is very interesting and of course every uh, week I'll be uploading a video review of whatever I read and I aim to put out in November a video around midweek maybe on a Wednesday or something like that so uh, watch out for that uh, week two for extraterrestrial I've uh, chosen a real classic called Across a Billion Years by Robert Silverberg this one has alien technology uh, alien archaeology in it and alien archaeology really really fascinates me and I've never read it before that particular subgenre and I'm really looking forward to uh, diving right in and seeing uh, what that genre is like so it's really exciting week three for classic science fiction predating 1965 I've decided to go with the illustrated man by Ray Bradbury now this is uh, a book of short stories so you can read short novels or short stories throughout the month of November so I thought it fitting that I include uh, a book of stories in the mix and uh, it covers quite a few genres um, in the book but uh, it's one I've heard about before and intrigues me and uh, you know it's bite-sized fiction it's only uh, 186 pages or so so it's nice and short you know, nice and short but it will also give me a bit of um, exposure to Ray Bradbury's shorter works because this year I did actually read something wicked this way comes for the first time since reading it um, as a young fella and really enjoyed it it creeped me out so uh, looking forward to uh, revisiting some of Ray Bradbury's work Week number four, Robots and AI, I decided to go with a very famous book, I, Robot, uh, by Isaac Asimov. Now with this particular book, one thing I forgot to mention was the uh, bookish Bryants have uh, put up uh, an extra credit that you can get. So extra credit goes to uh, reading a story or book or an audio book that's been adapted into another medium and that medium could be a movie, a radio broadcast, um, a graphic novel, television show or whatever. So I thought, well look, um, iRobot is a book I've wanted to uh, sort of get into and naturally there is the movie starring um, Will Smith which I will watch just to get that extra credit so uh, yeah it's going to be a lot of fun so there you go that's my rundown and announcement for New Worlds November which is really exciting looking forward to participating in the project really looking forward to the other co-hosts with what they come up with and what they are choosing to read for the month of November and more importantly I'm looking forward to watching uh, all their videos which uh, should be a real treat and uh, listening to what their thoughts and reactions are on some of their favorite books or some of the uh, stories that they are picking up for the first time so there you go guys that's my rundown and announcement for New Worlds November 2022 I'm so looking forward to it please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any comments or feedback please put them below and I'll always respond to those and always up for a chat and yeah until next time guys I'll see you later